Now we have the story of a Chicago agency which is making a big mark across America, even all over the world, in fact. That's true. NBC5's Phil Rogers says in the process, they are making a difference in the lives of countless blind and visually impaired people all across Chicago. Around the world, at U.S. Air Force bases, embassies, even the White House, the passage of time is measured by clocks made here at the Chicago Lighthouse for people who are blind or visually impaired on Roosevelt Road. The clock operation started in 1977 and uh, strictly with the federal government. Uh, you walk into a federal agency and you're bound to see our clock on the wall. While the Lighthouse makes clocks for just about every branch of the federal government, these days it's about half and half. 100,000 clocks a year for the government with an equal number for the private sector. How many clocks will be made here today? We'll be producing about 700 clocks. All made here on production lines where 85% of the workers are blind or visually impaired. They're all the same up here in our head. People who have the brains to do the job can do the job if you give them the proper accommodations for their, to help them with their sight. And the proof is in the product. How many clocks? This is the one millionth clock, the two millionth, the three millionth, the four millionth, and the five millionth clock. All of them ticking testimonials to a philosophy the Lighthouse has been advocating since they first opened their doors in 1906. Don't be afraid to hire us. We work sometimes better than sighted people. Brenda Gaines has worked here in the clock factory for 10 years. Since I've been here, my, my, my life has changed, my spirit is lifted, and I'm very happy. The Chicago Lighthouse, making a difference for more than 100 years. Phil Rogers, NBC5 News. That's fascinating. Yeah, Never makes you happy. That. Good stuff. I have a couple of them myself. Do you? Good folks. Another great Phil Rogers story. Yeah.